again guys, this is James from Squid Gaming. I'm just going to bring a quick update to my indicator lights tutorial. Um, some people asked how to make the little uh, tick and cross next to the door that switches when you get it right at the end of the lights. Um, which I didn't specify in the video. I was saying it doesn't work. This was probably because you used the uh, wrong material. There's quite a few that look like they would work. Okay, so what you want to do is, as you can see, I've just moved my button and added a few overlays uh, to match up with my new fitted into the wall door. Okay, so now you want to go to your materials browser and you want to type in door state. Like I just had there. Yep, door just works. And if you have an underground one, you use the uh, old one. If an above ground style uh, test chamber, you use the new one. Then just do exactly the same thing as you did before. Set the, uh, make it an overlay. Name it the same as your indicator lights. Line it up so it is where it should be at the end of the map and if you do all that when you run and compile the map it should look something like this okay so back in our test chamber if you just walk over to the button there we go he lights and now the tick and cross box go orange and you have a fully operational a good looking door with everything that it would have in the full game. So, there we have it. Just a quick update because I realised I missed something. Thanks for pointing it out, everyone who did. Um, keep up the good work. Please uh, watch all the tutorials and subscribe. It's a real great help. And I will see you next time.